Welcome to the HR Empowerment Podcast, where we will uncover strategies and new insights from HR professionals who discuss up-to-date regulations, best practices, and the most pressing topics like diversity and equity, leadership, dealing with difficult situations, and much more that affect your bottom line and business. Thanks for joining us. Hey, everybody. Welcome back. It's Wendy Sellers, the HR lady and JC. Hey, JC. Aloha. Aloha, aloha. It is Friday. Hey, we're here with Tara Stubbins in episode five, our final episode of this series. And we are talking about empowering people to take control of their calendars so they can create the life and hopefully the work-life balance that they want. Welcome back, Tara. Thanks for having me. I'm so sad this is our last episode. (laughs) We'll have you back another time. No problem. And I'm sure many people will be reaching out to you because we all have just too much on our plates. That's all there is to it. Um, You know, employers just keep giving employees more and more. And to be fair, it's also because we have a shortage of workers, but that's a whole other conversation. I want to jump in and ask you for some final tips to help successful people build and maintain success. And then, I don't know, maybe spill some gossip, no names unless you want to, about some crazy celebrity requests you've had in the past. So with that started, what are your final tips or tactics for people out there who are successful but need a little bit more help to keep growing yeah it's actually a really interesting question because you know we have been talking about what you know big celebrities do and people with a lot of resources and you know it's easy for them to set goals and achieve goals because they have all of these resources and it's easy for me to say well i've done it you can do it too um but it's really really hard to get up in the morning and actually do what you need to do. And I've been there. I've been there many times where I know that I have to get up and I have to do one of these needle moving tasks today, but I just can't figure out the motivation to actually do it. And, you know, it's all about, again, creating that discipline. No one else can do it but you. And I think a lot of us being either um, leaders, managers, or our, you know, own people running our own businesses, that we put a lot of pressure on other people to create our motivation or other people to help us get started or other people can do it. So why can't I? And then creating this kind of system where we don't feel really good about ourselves. And Really, we all know what to do. I have to say that we kind of all know how to live a healthy lifestyle. You know, we know what to eat. We know what to how to exercise. Do we all do it? I know I don't most of the time. Um, And it's the same with being successful, hitting our goals and, you know, running our own businesses or managing um, big teams. We know what to do. Sometimes we just don't do it. So we, <laughs> could have <for> sure. <laughs> we could have summed up this entire five-part episode with, you know, four very simple words, and it is just do the thing. And really, <laughs> that's all we have to do to, um, you know, create our own level of success. Celebrity concierge, Tara Stubbins. Not just on this program, but you could catch her on YouTube. She'll talk about time management tips even some crazy celebrity requests. Now, these that I'm about to bring to the table aren't necessarily from her show. If you want those, you're going to have to tune in on YouTube. But it's been said before that Mariah Carey is known for diva demands. She once requested 20 white kittens and 100 white doves as part of a concert rider. Kanye West, for his tour, demanded a barber's chair, cylindrical vases, and very special shower gels. And then if we think about Adele, She asked for freshly prepared sandwiches in the dressing room, but with no tomatoes. When we think about these requests, and in some cases, demands contractually, they are quite interesting. Tara, do you have any that you would care to share or be allowed to share with our listeners today? I have to say all of those are giving me a bit of PTSD from the past <laughs> life of having to do that. Um, but 
But yes, those are all real stories for sure. Um, and uh, I love the how kind of the whole very specific writer request started. And it was from Van Halen. And they were sick and tired of people not actually reading their requests. So they asked for people to pick the brown M&Ms out of the bowl. And then they knew that everything on their, their list was uh, successfully accomplished if they didn't see the brown M&Ms in their bowl. Wow. Um, put it like lower down on the list. Genius. And then now, of course, you know, it's kind of gotten a little out of hand. Um, one of my, I guess, favorite but not so favorite stories was in a very um, early on in my career, um, I am Canadian and a Canadian pop star by the name of Justin Bieber. Um, it, I was working with him when he was also very, very young. So before his um, before his like massive rise to fame and um, one of my duties was to provide his writer for that day um, in backstage at uh, the concert venue. So I got the list and I headed off to the local grocery store and I was doing pretty well until I got to his request for Pop-Tarts. And he requested strawberry and blueberry Pop-Tarts. And at this particular grocery store, they didn't have any strawberry pop tarts. So I called his manager and I said, you know, like how important is this like rider request? Does he eat them? Or is it like a test? Like, what are we doing here? Do I have to run around the city and try to find these strawberry pop tarts? And he said, no, don't worry. He hasn't eaten them in a few years. I don't know why they're still on here. Just come back. We have other things that we need you to do. So I grabbed the combo pack of raspberry and uh, blueberry Pop-Tarts, the rest of the, th the items, and headed back to the venue. And later that night when uh, he was getting ready to go on stage, I was uh, just making sure that everything was okay and restocking things. And I heard this screaming behind me. And I turned around just in time to see a Pop-Tart being thrown at my head. Um, I ducked. It hit the wall behind me. And it was Justin. He was so angry that I had the audacity to buy the wrong flavored Pop-Tarts. Um, and so in that moment, I finished off the day, but I decided that I was never going to work for him again. And I didn't. <laughs> um, but I also learned a very good lesson in time. And it was, again, very early on in my career. And I learned that I was never going to work for someone or give my valuable time to someone who wasn't going to appreciate me or what I would do. So yes, you know, we all work for people who have bad days. And yes, I get it. Not everyone is going to be sunshines and unicorns and rainbows every single day. Um, but if they are constantly throwing things at your head or being, you know, <laughs> as upset as that on a daily basis, then maybe you should try to you know, value your own time and reconsider what you're doing. So great stories, great lessons in it. Um, and yeah, one of my favorite kind of celebrity stories. Wow. Wow. Well, thank you for enlightening that, uh, uh, us with that, because if I had a pop star thrown at me, I'd probably still be in jail. So uh, <laughs> <laughs> that's for sure. Hey, this has been, you know, very, very enlightening. Thank you so much. I know you already gave everybody your contact information. Just want to remind our listeners, if you are looking to connect with Tara Stubbins, you can do so on LinkedIn or at takeiteasygroup.com. Any final words of advice? Nice, Tara. Uh, hold your goals close and remain extremely focused on them. And anyone can be the Beyonce, Taylor Swift or Drake of their own lives. I love it. Thanks, everybody, for listening to episode five of our five part series on work life balance. And we really, truly help, hope this has helped you to draw a line in the sand and say, you know what, I need to do this and get some help myself to move forward. On a side note here, don't forget to go to AuroraTrainingAdvantage.com backslash webinars. Check out all the webinars that are coming up. There's a cool one about drafting legally sound jo job descriptions, including do not throw pop tarts at people's heads <laughs> <laughs> with that said thanks jc thanks tara thanks for joining us we hope this information everybody has been helpful and take care
Thank you for joining the HR Empowerment Podcast, brought to you by Aurora Training Advantage. We hope you've gained new insight and strategies to navigate the HR profession. We look forward to you joining us again on the HR Empowerment Podcast.